Welcome back to the uh, final video. Uh, a couple of things that we need to do um, before we put all the parts together. Um, now that you've sprayed everything, uh, the, the dome, we're going to need to um, clean up the excess paint where the lever switch goes and the pullback switch. Um, if you're sanding these down, I would recommend you do it from the inside. So if you do knock it, you're not knocking any paintwork off, but just make sure that you've got um, all the uh, excess paint off in there. Uh, it does help when you put the lever switch uh, um, inside it. So that's one of the first things that we need to do. We're also going to need to have some um, felt sticky back uh, paper. You can get hold of this in most shops or places online. Um, and you're going to need to cut some pieces. I've done mine already and put a couple of pieces um, on the back of the lever switch here. Um, and the reason for that is, is because when you pull it back, it tends to scratch the paintwork. So placing that on there, um, you'll probably end up polishing it rather than scratching it, but um, it gives, uh, it just stops it from scratching both uh, front and back. So that's the couple of first steps that uh, we need to do. Um, now the next stage, and the first thing that we uh, are going to add onto the top dome is the little lens cap. So if you just place that, make sure it's straight, put the washer on, and a little nut and then just that should just screw on there and then I tend to just um, tighten it up I don't like this so it's got a good tight feel to it and there's your lens cap in place um, before I put the lever switch on, I tend to put um, some silicon grease on it um, inside. It just helps uh, when you slide this uh, backwards and forwards. Um, you don't have to, um, but I tend to do that. So I'm just going to go and put uh, that on now. I'm not going to do it on camera because it's a little bit messy. Um, and I'll just see you in a moment. Now that actually wasn't as messy as I thought. Uh, you can see, just put a little piece of silicon in the top there. Um, now you've got to be really careful on this uh, next stage because we're going to be putting the, uh, the lever switch in here. So you just want to make sure that you don't push too hard and snap these off, but uh, it should just can try and clip in that's it so that's clipped in and what I will suggest you do is you just give it a good working and get this uh, before you put anything else in there so um, I'm just going to carry on doing that might put some more silicon grease in the top here um, and uh, I'll be back uh, with some more in a moment Okay, you see we've got the uh, lever in place um, and I've put enough um, silicon grease in there and I've uh, quite frantically moved this backwards and forwards to the point where it's, uh, it's now working quite smoothly. Uh, it just gets better. The more you use it, um, the better it will be. Uh, you don't want it too loose, you don't want it too, uh, too tight. Uh, so that's that part done. Um, now, the next stage is we're now going to be starting on um, putting this into the uh, the top part of the dome. Now the first thing um, that I do, because when you put the lever switch in 
um, it's very close to the the top of this so I tend to put um, some sticky tape um, on there it just stops any con if, if there is any contact it won't uh, contact on the uh, the metal bit but um, so that's uh, that part done okay now we've got the tape on um, you're going to need both parts here make sure that you've got the lever switch this going towards the back of the uh, the dome um, and place the lever switch inside here now if you push it all the way what you're going to need to do is once it's pushed up all the way is to pull this back as you can see we're doing that I'll do that again okay so when I pull this back you will see it move that is the position that you need to glue it in because that's where the bolt is connecting to the switch uh, and just to double check to make sure it all works actually before I do that um, just place the light because you've got the rubber grommet there it should just fit in like that so I'm just going to test it so if we pull the lever switch back there it is working and if we switch it off it switches off now I'm going to go and get my glue gun and just put some glue to hold that uh, in place uh, and I'll be back very shortly and here we are um, you can see my glue gun skills are to be desired but uh, you're not going to see this so that's good um, the light switch cables um, what you need to do there is to just bend those so they are out the way and then we are ready to um, to put this in so it fits in really tight and there you have the top dome finished let's just give it a try I'll switch that off there okay um, and I'll be back in a moment just to show you the uh, how we do the bottom dome And here is the uh, the bottom dome now this is uh, quite loose uh, when you put it on the uh, the bottom of the thermal detonator so you've got these three points here you've got one two and three points there I don't know whether you can uh, see but I've actually put some felt round there so when you put this with the top section get it round the right way it actually is a tight fit and there is your thermal detonator finished and there it is And here is the display stand that I said I would uh, show you. Um, this is a 3D printed part, the STL files of which you can get on my uh, Thingiverse page. Um, it's just two parts, you've got the main base and then you've got the rim that you uh, put on once you've cut out the mirrored plastic card uh, for the centre. The acrylic base here uh, is from a company called Display Pro. It's actually for a cricket ball. I'll just put some um, felt on there just to stop the 
um, chrome scratching on the detonator. Um, I've also got an area here for you to put uh, your own plaque or whatever you want to put on there. Um, I just uh, use a guy who makes all of my plaques. This is actually a brushed aluminium one. Um, but that's it. That's all the videos done. I hope you've really enjoyed uh, watching these. Um, I'm just going to leave you now with the uh, finished video of the thermal detonator and some pictures. Um, but if you do have any comments that you want to make regarding this or any items that you can't source, then uh, please leave it in the description below and I'll endeavour to do my best to come back to you as soon as possible. But thank you very, very much for watching and uh, hope to see you on my next project.